Right, on track folks, following the higher path as stated in this little book. This little book of Porlock Walks. And it is outlining my route. But it's, um, it's not perfect, but you know, go in your instinct a bit, which is what I did. And it'd be all right. Apparently this, um, there's lots of rhododendrons and things. A lot of these trees and shrubs and that were planted by the Ackland family. Dedicated to some of his family, his daughters I think. A famous well-off family. Probably had the manor around here and everything. Um, and apparently you, deer can sometimes be seen. I am finding the deer a rare thing at the moment. Uh, I really am. I haven't seen none. I was up on the top yesterday, coming from Minehead all the way to uh, Hilston Point. I never seen any deer at all. The thing is, I'm talking away on my video. They probably keep dead quiet while I pass. But at the moment, I'm feeling quite relaxed. I'm enjoying it. I always get a little bit anxious. Uh, when there's two of you, you can dilute the anxiety a bit because there's two to think. But when it's up to you and you have to keep your mind focused, which I do 99% of the time, I get the odd hiccup. Usually because signs are wrongly positioned, as what, or there aren't any, as what happened yesterday when I was on the last mile. It was very close. And it wasn't only me. Some Americans got lost in that orchard and other people. Now you see, talking about signs, look. Agnes Fountain, I'll have to read up about what Agnes Fountain's about. Then you've got... Bossington Hill, Summit Path, and Selworthy, and we've got to follow the Selworthy one. It says two paths descend from your left, which is true. Here we are, look. That's the sleigh path up there to Bossington Hill. That's Bossington and Agnes Fountain that way. Okay, we're following this, the Selworthy sign. been about two hours so far. Now what I always have to say to myself, like I do when I'm at home on near the Mendips at three o'clock, especially if it's dark at seven, you must turn back. Or you have to allow yourself the same amount of time it took you to get to your destination. And it might be less hilly on the way back, it could be worse. Plus, I have to try and remember the way back. One thing I'll say about doing walking and having to think, it makes your mind alert. You have to get organised. You know, I mean, there's all these people getting old timers and whatever. If you have missions, so you've got to plan your day. Okay, I forgot the jelly today. I only thought I was going to do a small walk. I was even just going to go to Minehead on the bus. So I'd, I'd already packed my rucksack. <sighs> the plan today is to stop at Selworthy and buy a sandwich. <sighs> and maybe have a cup of tea. That's the plan before coming back. That's when I'll decide whether to go over to the other side of the A39 and back some sort of circular walk near Weber's Post over that way which still might be too much I've got no idea that's the problem might be too much or just go back head to Bosington Coombe that way and go back up the beach and then tomorrow 
which is my last day, go over that side. You don't have to go all the way to Selworthy, Sheila, either to do it. Although, in theory, I could join it from here. You see what I mean? I could get over there from Selworthy. I haven't looked into that yet. Right, over and out for now. This is Sheila. 26th of September 2018. Going on for half past 12. Lunchtime. And, uh... I'm in a wood going from Al... Elliford to Selworthy. My aim is to get to the church there and have a small break and then decide which route I'm going to take to come back. Over and out. Right. Just reached the junction point. We can go to Elliford, Bosington or up to the Selway Beacon. We'll come this way. It now says half a mile. In my experience, a half a mile can turn into four. I did have the opportunity to ask somebody, but I've, I'm following the signs. Instinct is telling me go this way as well. But two people and a dog passed. And uh, sometimes it's a huge mistake to ask people. I have found that I've been sent the wrong left or right. Honestly, I don't think they've done it on purpose. It's just that you can see they're racking their brains and they just give you an answer. These are ancient walls that you see around here, by the way. Apparently. I mean, this once again, you've got Selworthy Beacon. I don't know if this was a hell fort once. But it most certainly would have been a strong defensive position. But I don't know. I'm going to have to look all that up when I start to do the write-ups and the videos. I will look that up. God, there's some beautiful trees in here. Now that is massive. Apparently there were some special ones planted. That is one special tree. Look at that. Standing there holding on. Hello, big tree. You might still be alive. I don't know. I can't see right to the top, but you're some sort of Scottish pine, aren't you? You're beautiful. Very beautiful. This was built by the Acklin family, who obviously. I've got people in my family in the past that were loaded, had manors, gardens. Um, now let's have a look over here. This is some brilliant views now. I'm going to have to turn off in a minute to take a picture because I know that in a minute I'm going to see Sel um, Dunkery Beacon again. And look, the perfect spot for a seat and with some shade. Wow, that was perfectly spotted. Now yesterday when I was out I came across a seat it said Sheila's seat, and I thought, wow, yeah, Sheila's seat. I can see the beacon. I'm just going to home in on the beacon. Don't forget, I explored some of that two weeks ago. I was up on the beacon. I don't need to go up there again, necessarily. I can just do the lower stuff. You'll always see somebody on it. But I might go back through some of that wooded area there you see on the other side back to Porlock that way that's one of the plans if I can get in over there from Selworthy I'm going to get in over there and not come back this way so much to see in there I mean I haven't done the, the ridge on the back there I haven't done that yet but I've done that this is so beautiful everyone And I bet my sister Jude is sat here. I bet she's sat here. 
her and Stuart. I can imagine them sitting here and having a, perhaps a little flask of water or <sighs> just resting their legs for a minute. I can imagine it. The only way I'll know is if I, when I see Stuart, I'll have to ask him what walks they'd done. Right, over and out.